my name is Shauna in case you don't know and in today's video I will be doing a leaky con haul. This isn't to say that you'll find these items again next year, this is just to give you an idea of what types of items you will see there. The first two items I got were bath bombs. I got these at two different booths. A lot of the bath bombs there had shea butter in it and I'm allergic to shea, but I did find a couple that didn't have shea in it. And that was a chocolate frog bath bomb and a golden snitch bath bomb that smelled like sherbet and I will include clips of both those bath bombs right here. I'm going to try not to make commentary on the actors that I met, but I will show you the photos really briefly. I did meet all of the actors that were there except for the ones from Team Star Kid. So I got photos with all of them and a couple I got autographs and I will be doing later videos on what it was like to meet them. I'm sorry if I pronounce these names wrong, I'll just say them the best I can. So this is a picture of my friend Annie Scarlet, who plays Pansy and me as Harry Potter with his Christmas jumper. And that is a really awkward pose, but I'll explain why in a future video. And this was the photo I got on the last day. I was dressed as Hermione, and that is with Stan Stanislav Yanovisky. I might be pronouncing that wrong. He played Victor Crumb. And then here's the picture with Allison Soodle. I was just dressed as a Hufflepuff student without my robe. There's Allison, who plays Queenie, and there's Annie. And I got this one signed. This is a picture of me and Chris Rankin, who plays Percy Weasley. Here's a picture of me in my Hufflepuff robe, Ellie Darcy Alden who plays young Lily Potter, and Trevor, just a little stuffed animal, and my friend Annie. And here's a picture of Christian Coulson and I. Christian Coulson plays young Tom Riddle in Chamber of Secrets. Here's a picture of me and my friend Annie with Louis or Luis. I was saying Louis going in, but then somebody said Louis and now I have no clue. But anyways, he plays Blaze Zabini and he was super nice. And here's a picture of me and Luke Youngblood. Luke Youngblood plays Lee Jordan in the first two Harry Potter movies and in one of the video games. And this one got signed. This is a picture of me, Devin Murray, who plays Seamus Finnegan, and my friend Annie. And here's a picture of me and Dan Fogler, who plays Jacob Klosky in Fantastic Beasts. To see those photos better, they're all on my Instagram. There was an origami thing, and I was trying to make an origami badger, and I honestly failed. So you can tell because all I have is a square piece of paper with random folds on it. So as per LeagueCon traditions, there were ribbons that were being given out and being traded. Next year I hope to make my own ribbons to go with my cosplays, but I didn't do any this year and I didn't do it when I went in 2016. But I did collect a lot of ribbons this time, so I will show you. I didn't collect as many as I did in 2016, but I still got some. So I got Tin Can Ninja. This one was from Team Star Kid, I believe. And I got one that says, Laugh Hard, Run Fast, Be Kind, Hoovian Running Club. This one says, Basically Run. And this one is from the Hoovian Running Club as well. I really like Doctor Who, so I always think it's fun to get the Hoovian Running Club ribbons. And this one just says, Leaky Con Dallas, Texas. This was in the initial little goodie bag that you get when you just go to Leaky Con. This one says hogwartsrunningclub.org. So much good. And I was actually learning about the running club and it actually sounded really interesting. So when I heard about it before, I didn't understand that you didn't have to necessarily run to track up miles. Like you could swim, or you could walk. I thought it was just running and I was like, mm, no, not gonna join. But now that you, I find out you can swim and you can walk, I might try it, maybe bike too. I don't know, I might do it. And the thing about the running clubs is that all of the money that is earned from them go to really good things, really like nonprofit organizations and everything, and they're really interesting. And if you're interested in any form of exercise, I recommend checking them out. And I got this one that says Thunderbird. Now I'm not in Thunderbird, but I didn't see anyone handing out a Puck Wedgie ribbon, and I'm Puck Wedgie, so 
oh well. I always try to limit myself on pins because I know I could buy all of them there if I tried. So I just got one pin and this is from Oddment and Tweak. Their Instagram is at Oddment and Tweak and their website is oddmentandtweak.bigcartel.com. So I got a little mandrake with a pot and there's a little crack in the pot and you pull it down and he is right there. I thought this was cool. I try and limit myself to ones that are more abnormal that you wouldn't find very much because if I got every pin that I wanted I would have all the pins and that would be bad. My mom got me an Ilver Morning shirt. I have no Ilver Morning March so it's really nice to get one. This is what it looks like. This is a woman's fit but that's okay. I generally like men's fits a little better just because I like them a little bigger on me. I'm still really glad that I have Ilver Morning March now. I thought the idea of this was really cool. So it has little watercolors on the bottom and it has a little design that you can paint with a paintbrush. And I got one that was just the books because there were some that were like Hogwarts. Those just look really complicated to do with just a simple rainbow of colors. So I just chose the Harry Potter books. So as I said, the goodie bag um, that came at the front, it came in this. When I went to LeakyCon before, it had a tote bag with like actual fabric, but it was just plastic this year. But that's okay, it's so cute. And it came with schedules for the weekend. So there was Friday, which was red. There was Saturday, which was blue. And there was Sunday, which was purple. And then it also came with a booklet that had all the guests in it. And there was space for autographs, although I didn't get autographs in this book. There's a map, there's terminology, there's presenters information, there's staff, uh, there's some place for advertisements. It's just a really handy thing to have. There's also this leaky con sticker which looked like a golden snitch and that was free in that goodie bag and also in the goodie bag there was a purple leaky con pen i have a leaky con pen from 2016 but that one was green but this one's purple so that's pretty cool and the final thing from that goodie bag is just a little card saying the locations next year so dallas texas august 9th through 11th and Boston, which is October 11th through 13th. I will be going to the Dallas one again next year. It would have been nice to go to Boston because I've never been to Boston, but it's during the school year and I just don't know what my schedule for classes will look like in 2019. So I thought I might as well just get the Dallas tickets again. So there's this place called Not Topic and they have an Etsy as well as just a normal website. They had a lot of stuff from both Harry Potter and Supernatural. This is its pamphlet. This is the back of the pamphlet. And my mom got me a shirt from there. And this shirt is Hogwarts School of Hunting. So it has Sam as a Ravenclaw, Castiel's Hufflepuff, and Dean as a Slytherin. Now, I actually really agree with the sorting of these characters. I do understand why some people would think that Sam would be in Slytherin just because some people think he's evil. But if you actually think about it, Sam reads books. He just straight up just does all the research so he's more like smart and more devoted to like studying and figuring out what's going on with the issue. Castiel is an angel. Uh, he is more about like helping people and saving the world so that makes sense that he's in Hufflepuff. And Dean is really ambitious and he really gets what he wants no matter what it takes. He makes sure to save Sam non-stop no matter what so it makes sense that Dean would be in Slytherin. This is what the LeakyCon badges this year look like. It just had LeakyCon with a purple um, tab and it said the date and the location and there are stars on this little lanyard part and then I just had a general pass so it looks like that. So I finally got my hands on the Storybook Cosmetics Harry Potter wands. These were $10 which I don't know how much they normally are. Let me pull them out. I sort of don't want to use them because I don't want to hurt them or anything because they're so amazing. I don't know what each makeup brush is used for, I just know that I have a lot of eyeshadow palettes and not enough brushes, so I got this. So there's this one, and this one I believe is supposed to be Ron Weasley's wand, although I'm not 100% sure. And it's angled a little bigger at the end. This one is Lord Voldemort's wand, as you can see by the end right there. This one I believe is supposed to be Harry Potter's, although the end right here doesn't look quite like his. But that's an interesting little brush right there. Here's Hermione's. And I'm sure there's tons of pictures of these all over the internet, so I'm sorry that I'm having a hard time getting the lighting to show them. And last but definitely not least is the Elder Wand, otherwise known as Dumbledore's Wand. And with that place, not only did I get the wands, but for every purchase on the Friday, it came with 
a free golden snitch bracelet. So that is pretty cute. So it's just a little golden snitch with wings. It looks pretty small, so I don't know if it'll fit my wrist, but it's still really cute and dainty. So I don't know about you, but I have an obsession with glass jars. And unfortunately, the one I got leaked everywhere when it was on travel. Oh, ew, it's everywhere. I don't know what was in this. Jeez. I also didn't want to get just a generic one that I felt like I could make at my house. I wanted to get one that was unique, that I'd never seen before. So I got Umbridge's Virta Serum Tea, and it has a little cat charm on it. I'll show you after I get this off. Okay, the ribbon is all wet and dirty, and it's supposed to be tied right there. See, it's supposed to be tied, but it's all wet and dirty. And the cat is covered in sticky stuff. Oh, so there's a little cat. It's Umbridge's Virta Serum Tea. Surprisingly, not as much of the liquid spilled out as I thought it did, but it's just like pink and it has sparkles and a clear section on the bottom. But yeah, I love glass jars, so I had to get one. And I believe this was $8. I ordered a print from Brent Woodside, but I won't be getting this for a while because he sold out of it there. So I just like back ordered it sort of, so he'll send it soon in the next couple of weeks. The place where I got the Golden Snitch bath bomb and the painting set was from Biblio Bar. It's a bookstore, bar, and cafe, and it's coming to North Dallas in 2019, apparently. So that's pretty cool. And apparently they have their own audiobook type thing. So that's cool. So this is what it looks like. They just gave me two of these bookmarks. And that's what the back looks like. And I just got like two little cards. This one is for the Hogwarts Running Club. These were free, just handing them out. It gives more information. Pause at any time to read these. And this is one about the Doctor Who, the Whovian Running Club. And I got a wand holster that I can just like clip to my pants or something and I can hold my wand in there. So I thought this was really cool. I've always wanted a wand holster. I've never gotten a wand holster, so it's nice to finally have one. And this is in Hufflepuff colors, so that's pretty cool too. The next things I got were part of a mystery like envelope filled with stuff, and I didn't know much about it, just the envelope looked cool. And it was from Mystic Moon Media. So that's what their information card looks like. And this is what the envelope looks like. I just really like the design. It looks like something that would be sent from like the Ministry of Magic. It has documents, Department of Correspondence on it, undeliverable mailed ent entities, notes, tidings, and shipments for the loyal. And it's for the loyal because I'm Hufflepuff, of course. And there's like a faded Ministry of Magic stamp right there. And I thought that was just a really cute envelope. Like it was worth it for the envelope itself. But the items in it just made it better. So it came with a greeting card that you could write in. It's just nice artwork of the Hogwarts crest with realistic animals. Came with a little Hufflepuff bookmark that has a little tassel on it and has the badger on it uh, with Helga Hufflepuff's cup. And then on the back it just says nine three quarters fandom art loyalty. The fan art of artist C. Gerhardt. Yeah, that's what it looks like on the back. And it also came with a crybaby pin. Like a mandrake. You know? It's cute. I love it so much. Oh, and I almost forgot. The Hogwarts Running Club had hair ties again. They had hair ties when I went in 2016. This one just says Hufflepuff. I believe the ones from 2016 said stuff like Badger Up and stuff like that. So yeah, that's all I got for LeakyCon 2018. I will be going again in 2019, so expect another haul or more videos about LeakyCon. And for now, I will see you all in a future video. Bye!